Good morning, everybody. This is Greg Tingle, Greg Tingle of the Media Man Group, including Media Man Australia and Media Man International. This is more of a video vlog, or vlog, uh, this morning. I've got some wonderful news to share with everybody, and I wanted to document this on video. Um, the wonderful news for me and my family is that my beautiful mother, um, Beverly, in Brisbane, has recuperated well from the hospital and has got very good news uh, from the doctors, including Dr. Kathy Whiteman. Um, as we understand at this interesting uh, and historic time, there's a lot of changes going on in the world, including what in many places, including in Australia, is known as a pandemic. What's the definition of a pandemic? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. There's been different definitions. Anyway, so the wonderful news is my mum is going to be okay and good, at least in the medium to long term, which is just wonderful news. I got the news from my sister, Tina. So it sort of uh, sparked me to share the story. It was sort of like too big. It's the biggest great family news uh, we've had in a couple of decades. Um, the situation has been affecting me and my family greatly over the last month or so. Um, and obviously with the logistics of my mum in Brisbane, my sister Tina on the Gold Coast and me in Sydney for a range of reasons, even though we, obviously we all visit mum, um, with those border controls restrictions that affected my mum and I with me being in Sydney my mum in Brisbane a thousand kilometres away not that much needs to be said on that point um, that's just the political logistics of that situation so as I told my family let's not let the politics of states of Australia tear our family apart and I like to turn situations into positives, negatives into positives via different ways, different strategies, even including the power of God, the power of the higher power, the power of prayer, staying true to yourself, communicating that information to your family opening hearts and minds, standing for unity, not division, being mindful, careful of what we believe. Do you believe your truth and intuition? Or do you believe the newspapers? Do you believe politics? Or something else? I think listening to your intuition and using your common sense, using your intellect and if you believe in the higher power I think you can draw strength and wisdom from that as well. So communicate with a range of sources and that will serve you well. In God I trust, he is my fortress and my saviour. Psalms from the Bible. What an amazing book that is. So yes, everybody, big news. Um, smiling. Um, haven't smiled that much in the last week, couple of weeks. Try turning off the regular television, you know. The television, the tell lie vision, the propaganda machine. It's not always good for you. Sometimes there's an exception to the rule. I wanted to do a shout out and a thank you to the good folks at Sky News Australia. I actually made them aware of an overview of our family situation, but I did advise them not to put it in the public domain, at least not at this stage. But for accountability, and continuing to try to make the world a better place 
as the world resets. I thought, yes, I'm going to send that to one or two good people at Sky News Australia because I believe and trust them. I believe they've got strong ethics. In the last six months, as well as the last couple of years, my faith in the Australian media companies has gone down a lot. But once in a while, you become aware of different organisations that may be going against the grain and are or are more ethical, more honest, more truthful, that don't seem to betray the public's trust that was entrusted in them, that don't just repeat the, cov the government line, narrative, agenda, that just don't take the press release from a couple of global organisations that have their own directive and are attempting to spread that message worldwide, even though many professors and medical doctors have advised against it, that are speaking out. Something to think about, isn't it? Do you believe doctors? professionals, uh, professors, what news companies do you believe? Who do you believe? What do you believe? It's all pretty big, isn't it, everybody? So, Mum, looking forward to seeing you and the family. It's the best news I've had for decades. And um, thank you to my auntie as well, my sister. We've all been praying. I did find strength in prayer. It helped you find the inner strength. It's hard to find the words actually at the moment. So everybody, uh, some messages. Take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, take care of your well-being. Try to be clear on what you believe, who you believe, what information you let into your being. Good things can come for those who wait. Be strong. Survive. Some practical. Eat well. Do exercise. Just look after yourself. Try not to stress out too much in this crazy world. I know that can be sometimes more difficult um, than just saying it. But just do different things, you know, have a walk, nature, you know, coffee. Splash some water around, play some sport, catch up with some friends, all these sort of things. So everybody, have a great weekend. Look after yourselves. Thank you, Higher Power. Thank you, the great doctors. Thank you, my great media colleagues who still stand for good and ethics and truth. Thank you. Thank you so much from my heart and from my family. I love you, Mum. Family up Brisbane. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Greg Tingle signing off for the Media Man Group.